uh, this poem, I I wanted to be very kind of like explicit. It's it's actually a love story, but it's also a long story. So it it, it kind of tells both sides of like being in New Orleans and like loving New Orleans, but also experiencing like negative things up in New Orleans too. So I hope that you can enjoy it, and I hope that it it tells the truth at least as much. Welcome to America's third world amusement park. Dirty Disneyland, but the rides never stop. This city, this city has a circus for a heart and a plantation for a brain. All of its side show freaks on jagged rows of teeth. The streets have pothole cavities the size of bathtubs. Come take a ride down the throat of our St. Charles streetcar. If you close your eyes, pretend that you don't speak the language. You can hear the metal wheels roaring going any further down this rabbit hole of wrong. All of our oak trees own wooden limbs of lightning. Their gnarled knees stand as if they are dying to get away. Come and join the cavalcade of drunken souls pissing freely in the wind, retching aimlessly in the gutter every year. The crowds come amassed around the big paper mache floats. They plunge their arms into the night skies as the objects folding have become currency in their hands are hungry wallets. They be howling, yo, throw me something, mister. They pray the springs be quelled with catches, frat boys so drunk off their own privilege, they trample children in their wake. Shopping carts appear from nowhere, selling flashing plastic swords and jester hats and feathered boas and spun sugar and candied apples and many other things you are sure to forget about in the morning and the nights. You can hear the marching bands rumbling down my city streets. All of the percussionists have chosen to trade in their arms for machine guns. The fat bottom black girls spend their batons like their mamas did, mixing the rhythms of the drum with the tar crusted cobblestone pavement. Here come the crews on horseback, reminding everyone that the Klan is still invested in the South. They don colored sheets to hide their drunken grins. The cyst of animosity will be drained tonight with a ball of beads tossed to the face of someone that fits the description. But don't forget our new Stockholm Syndrome ride where the African-Americans wear blackface and grass skirts, handing out coconuts and calling it privilege. The tourists come ready every year to hand in their virtues for concoctions designed to tuck back their inhibitions. Where I'm from, we just say earned and not orange. We say Earl and not oil. We say fail before you try. We say command before request. But when a force of nature comes to destroy you, we say nothing. You prepare for the person you will be on the other side. When your country's president leaves you hanging out to dry, you can feel how long a body of lies can hang in midair, how it rocks like a twin tower set to implode at the sight of your world crumbling around you. Your eyes will wish themselves blind. The depression will turn your chest into a cavern. At the sight of blue tarps, gray bodies, and black baths, it will make stoic your face. At the CNNing of your drowning city plastered across the globe, it will reanimate the corpse. When the newscasters come to pick at the carcass, it will make limber all of the dead in you. When the new pilgrims come, like a Greco Roman army, with the God complex the size of the Louisiana Purchase, it will lead to a synaptic blitzkrieg. When the hipster transplants come, with their poly in a mind states, and their tins so high in the air, they forget they are standing on the bodies of natives. Everything inside of you will say rage. It will say destroy. And I say New Orleans. Your soul is the holy a million churches could never achieve. Hurricane Rita, Ida, Katrina, we still keep track of the amount of caskets you left open that unfaithful day since you landed at our doorstep. We've been rebuilding ever since and much, much like our cemeteries, we now stand upright. While aiming for our throats, you broke open our rib cage. It's been swinging ever since. 
You spun like a punch drunk on a Friday night looking for a way out, blasting backhandedly your way through downtown the size of your wingspan. It clapped like a pelican with an upright bass. This, this is not a song we choose to remember. Blues has always been a part of our heritage, but we ain't heard a tune like this since Hurricane Betsy down in New Orleans. We all know hearts break like levees. But it's gonna take a lot more than wind to rain on our parade. See, we, we are greater than hurricanes. We are not idle warships with punctured sails and windless lungs. We are the anchors standing on our toes when the tide comes rushing back to crack us in the chest. I'm from a city full of Saturday night sinners and Sunday morning saints. I'm here to tell you, our Indian dancers don't bring no rain. These hands, these hands have mixed martyr and play taps in the same day. We do not fear water. We no longer fear death. And we refuse to be scared by the whispers of a maelstrom, even though you cannot see through our umbrellas, know that we're smiling on the other side. I'm from a city where we celebrate it all. I wrote this to honor the once living angels who now hold our halos. This poem is for the survivors, it's for the stayers, it's for the men and women with the balls and the ovaries the size of the Superdome, it's for the long shots, it's for the freaks, it's for the burlesque dancers painting themselves gold in the cold of December's. It's for Huda Sundays, Red Bean Mondays, and all of those brass bands blowing under our bridge. This poem is for New Orleans. This poem is for us. Whew. Thank you. <laughs>